Kerala Law Academy and its present avatar is a well-known institution committed to imparting quality education and to the development of professional research and unconventional parts of law reforms in its students. But it is more so known because of the immense success that is the Kerala Law Academy Moot Court Society. The Moot Court Society has gifted to its mooters opportunities aplenty and the feeling of belonging like no other. Within the four walls of the official Moot Hall, they have learned their facts, presented their arguments and became sure-footed in the mooting arena. There is also an ever-present undertone of belonging and a feeling of family. And this journey started in 1989. The Kerala Law Academy Moot Court Society uh, in its present uh, professional setup was uh, formally started only in 1989. Uh, the main intention of the society and the intention of La Kerala Law Academy was to provide uh, professional training so that uh, the law students even during their uh, college days, school law school days could be converted like professional lawyers and would have a professional approach to the profession. The Moot Court Society of Kerala Law Academy has never faltered in the estimation of its objectives nor has it ever fallen short in achieving them. A serious attempt to train law students for Moot Court competition was started in 1990. The director Dr. Narayana Nair was very particular that Law Academy team should win JSU. At that time, I was the UGC research partner and part-time lecturer. The director asked me to take all most possible measures to train the students so as to make them capable of winning this. As a first step for tra training students, special training was given in communicative English. Then we started to take steps for selecting the team. For that purpose, competition was conducted and from among the selected members of the Moot Court Society, rigorous training started. Every day, the training will start at 9.30 am and that may go up to midnight. And the, the place of training was the research center of the Kerala Law Academy at Punan Road. Before going to a competition, there may be 60 to 70 trial presentations. This professional training, coupled with hard work and single-mindedness to the task at hand, saw many a Kerala Law Academy team succeed in various smooth code competitions. Each year, the laurels add to the growing list of milestones covered and goals achieved. The Kerala Law Academy team has made it to envied positions of prestigious competitions such as the William C. Wiss International Commercial Arbitration Moot, Philip C. Jessup International Law Moot Court Competition, Stetson World Rounds, Bar Council of India Inter-University Moot Court Competitions, etc. It is not surprising thus that the Moot Court Society can fully boast of achievements at scale on regional, national and international level. After three years, the Law Academy team won the prestigious JSU competition with the first position. I still feel immense pride in the fact that I am a JSUPA who represented Law Academy in the International Moot Court Competition at Washington DC way back in 1996 along with my teammate Sindhu Shantalinkam. I happen to be the second team from Law Academy who went to US to represent India for the international competition. I participated for the Jessup Moat Court in 97, cleared the national rounds, went on for the international rounds. We were placed the semi-finalists in the international rounds. I think it was the first time that somebody from Kerala Law Academy, I think from Kerala also somebody could uh, actually have a place in the international rounds as well to be placed semi-finalist then was a great thing. We got selection for Vienna, um, William C. West, that is a commercial arbitration mode. 
Um, that was uh, another experience that uh, the Moot Court Society gave, uh, Kerala Law Academy gave to its um, students. Um, that was an international competition. The Moot Court Society has also been instrumental in bringing about fundamental changes to the personality and conduct of its mooters, bringing about a very positive transformation. I joined Academy in 2008 and I passed out in 2013. And in those five years of gap, what happened there was a transformation, a transformation of me being a schoolboy to a Paka professional lawyer. Academy and the Moot Court Society was very fundamental in, in bringing out a lawyer in me. I personally feel I had a great experience presenting Moot Courts be before some of the stalwarts in the legal history of India when I was a teenager and that experience has instilled a lot of confidence in me to speak whenever, wherever was required with no inhibitions whatsoever. But more than a means to participate in competitions, the society also plays the background for many fond memories cherished in the hearts of the Mooters. My fondest memories with regard to Law Academy have always been associated with the Moot Court Society. Everybody used to support everybody else. Whenever one team was participating, everybody else joined them to either for helping them with research or to prepare them for Moot Court competition. It is as if the whole college was participating and not just two students. We used to spend almost uh, three, 365 days in the Moot Court Society. We used to celebrate all the festivals there. Now, uh, when we were studying, internet had, had not yet hit uh, Kerala in a uh, large extent. The only uh, place where net was available or internet, that was something strange to us, was available was at uh, Keltron. So, I uh, remember for the uh, 98 Vienna competition, we want to get the problem beforehand. The, it will take a lot of time for the mail to reach us. So, a few of us went to Keltron. At that time, the rate for, for 10 minutes at Keltron was 60, rupees 60 for 10 minutes. We searched the net, there was no uh, Google or something like that uh, during those times. It was uh, top between two servers, which I remember it was between uh, Veronica, Archie, two servers or something like that. And finally we got that uh, comp uh, moot problem and uh, the, we took printout at the same time. So first time I was taking a printout of a, a problem from a net. I was away from uh, litigation for some time and then um, I uh, started doing litigation work again. So my memories when I look at a question of law or when I look at a particular scenario, my mind automatically goes into what I did at the moot because it's so ingrained in you, uh, the way um, we were trained and the mode of work that we used to do, how we used to tackle the uh, moot court problems has helped me a lot. When I went to NUS, uh, National University of Singapore for my post-graduation, the best thing I benefited was that I was exempted from writing the IELTS because I was a booter and I was able to represent College of India for the two moot court competitions both in Vienna as well as in Hong Kong. I was a member of the moot court society of the Law Academy from the year 1993 to 1998. Me along with John Marcus, we were a team together. At that time, uh, Kerala Law Academy Moot Court Society was considered to be a women's bastion. We were the first boys team to win a competition from Kerala Law Academy. These memories accumulated over time along with the souvenirs and the good that the Mooters later go on to do in society forms the long and undeniable legacy of the Kerala Law Academy Moot Court Society which will keep growing and inducting potential game changers and students with initiative into its fold. The atmosphere in the Kerala Law Academy for us to develop and promote ourselves in a mooting arena has been extremely conducive and positive, especially with exceptional seniors training us and the interaction between the students themselves. I believe we have the spirit, the energy to work under this common umbrella of our society. We work for one thing, Kerala Law Academy Moot Court Society. We work for just one hope, bringing up this Kerala Law Academy Moot Court Society and we win for our society. That is the spirit 
which makes us do everything and which finally result in the success moot court competitions generally serve as an efficient avenue for students of law to obtain greater exposure in legal analysis to develop their oratory skills and to inculcate a healthy spirit of competition moot court competitions also enjoy a long history in our nation the kerala law academy all india moot court competition is special in this regard as it is the third oldest moot court competition in the country following jessup in 1978 and the bar council of india national competition 1989 the law academy moot court society was uh, formed in 9, 1989 and since then this competition national moot court competition was being organized but the peculiarity of kerala law academy competition is that it is conducting without any interruption for last 27 years when uh, this competition was started initially there were uh, not many other competitions and after we started with the competition and uh, we made it very professional in nature and we gave much publicity to the competition other institutions in kerala started having competitions then all over india started having competitions the 90s so a bloom of national moot court competitions all over india it is this hospitality sector which the kerala law academy moot court society boasts of today has made our moot court a, a wide success around the national law colleges and the national law schools the year 2016 witnesses the 27th year of the all india moot court competition for the kerala law academy trophy 27 years of being a consistent platform for promoting healthy competition and deliberation of being a converging point for professors and academics from universities all over india and of being consistent in its promise of a truly enlightening experience this year we see the participation of teams from 48 universities that is from along the length and breadth of our great nation eager to take part in the all india moot court competition for the kerala law academy trophy why kerala moot the most direct answer to why kerala moot is that it's basically known as the mother of all moot court competitions this is the first college to start moot in india it has got such prestige that it is considered one of the tier tier one moots the college campus is so much fascinating and here is a wonderful experience for us i really feel like a family here it's a really great uh, platform where we can come and uh, compete against all the well known institutions of india this is the moot where we are getting to learn how mooting is actually done it's a great experience moreover in the rounds the judges were fair enough they uh, heard us well and they gave us the opportunity to speak taught us new things they were very cooperating and it's a privilege to be part of such a legacy it's a milestone in my mooting career itself to participate in kla's moot court competition thank you everyone for giving us such an opportunity the kerala law academy moot court society has given me a platform to showcase my abilities and it has helped me to improve my public speaking presentation skills and it also helps us to know how to engage with the judges kla mcs has given me enormous opportunities to meet and interact with a lot of uh, eminent persons including uh, judges of the high court of kerala to mingle with a lot of people all over the country to know about the advocacy skills more and more to come out of my shell and to face this crowd and uh, to address a crowd without you know uh, stuttering or faltering in any possible way to be a part of various uh, national prestigious moot court competition to make new friendships to understand and experience law from outside the prescribed curriculum and i've been given up so much of opportunities here that i've even been up against international teams and this has built my confidence level it is immense right now the mooting has played a great role in developing uh, my idea of learning so idea about learning something uh, applying the mind discussing things with people arguing with people also you get to research on various topics which do not come under the normal curriculum of a law student we have a legacy the importance of legacy is something that that's quite undermined 
And I believe this legacy is what each and every member has been instilled with from the first year that they join till the last year that they pass out. It's this legacy of Mood Code Society uh, which gives uh, inspiration for motors like me uh, to work with Perseverance and uh, win the competition for Kerala Lava Kerala. It is good. A lot of memories that I'll definitely cherish even after I leave this college. And I'm proud to be a part of this society. I would like to thank the Kerala Law Academy Mood Code Society for making me what I am today. A testament to the success and legacy of the Kerala Law Academy Mood Code Society is that each year a plethora of students from the first year appear and take part in the selection processes. The Kerala Law Academy Mood Code Society has been an eminent one from the time it was established and not many get the opportunity to get into it. I have it, I want to seize it. I came to know that this is a very good platform for me to learn, acquire and practice lawyering skills at this uh, stage of uh, learning law. To be able to stand in front of a huge crowd, to not doubt yourself and to be completely confident in what you say, that's, that's a huge thing that I've seen in the mutas around here and that is one of the primary things that I want to be a part of the Mutko Society. The best are handpicked by the revered principal herself following which the now band of trial motors go through a month of rigorous and objective training, focused on building their basic legal knowledge and on introducing them into the dynamic platform that is the Moot Code competitions. It changed me as a whole. Uh, I am now a hard worker. I attended the trial sessions and it seemed so much more fun and interesting than it sounded. A month later, center stage they stand, poised for the volley of questions, armed with the conviction to never concede and to work relentlessly towards the goal. The presentation is the last and deservedly the most nerve-wracking experience as the trial motors try to convince experienced moot court judges that they deserve the tag of Kerala Law Academy motor. This final push before the induction into the Kerala Law Academy Moot Court Society family is regarded by the motors as a rite of passage. From the unsure to the bold and the sure, from the four worlds of insecurities to the world of infinite possibilities and potential. Finally, it is not known where the journey will take us, but the only way is forward. The Kerala Law Academy Moot Court Society does not conform, but confirms our dedication to work ourselves up to the top to be among the elite globally. Because we are not the rule, we are the exception.